Hello loves, how you doing? When I invited you all into the energy, I suddenly got really bad jaw and teeth pain. So sorry. Um, so I'm not sure if it will be in this video or in another video that I'm intending on doing uh, advice or healing for energetic whiplash for when we've experienced a shock, things have suddenly changed. Um, even if you knew they were coming, it can sometimes kind of shock us when you've known for a while and it's like, oh, is it going to happen? And then it suddenly happens, it suddenly drops and that can be a shock as well. So I heard Mount Shasta, which is why the Mount Shasta card is here. And I also felt while I was shuffling this deck that um, uh, that all the chakras are important. Obviously, a chakra alignment is advisable. And then we've got... The overflow, the water element. What I'm seeing here is the heart the most and the, the water. Something about the um, way she's represented water there. Like some kind of glass or stone. Yeah, and I'm getting here that the, the crown and the higher heart are partly open, partly closed. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's coming up. The hexagon, so hex keys. alignment divine and then here her hair is reminding me of the hood of a cobra cobras were very important in, in Egyptian magic I think representing the solar disc and I'm having trouble breathing right now like I can't even breathe so um that's fun um, I'm going to put that. Yeah, and I've left my, this is the bottom, this is the Earth Star Chakra in, um, in a Chakra Sister Hagig I have. Suddenly very tired, needs to rest, you need calcium, probably iron. I'm hearing watermelon sugar high. So maybe needing electrolytes. Or maybe you've had too much sugar. Okay, what do we got here? This is okay, it's the um the toidle. Turtle, toidle, yeah, turtle. Sea turtle. Very pretty. Um, Theo Sapphire. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Here, what I'm seeing today, which I haven't seen before, is like some weird animation or a toy or something from a game is it from a game that ha that looks like this like it's standing on its feet there maybe from spongebob or something i don't know oh that's weird you've been eating too much all right what do we need to know now for our highest good please how 
do we realign? How do we realign after this energetic shock? So we've got morning dew on the bottom of the deck. I'm just going to shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling them. <laughs> yeah, I'll never make it in Vegas, baby. Those ones. Oh, surprise one too. Okay, so we've got Primal. There is no other way around but through the very truth that lives within you. Number 32. The Green Man in Reverse. Um, number 15. All that I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this to be true for I am abundant in all that I do. And manifestation, number 23. Sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips and other times they dwell in the depths of your soul. It is a dance between you and the spirit as the magic unfolds. Okay. So this is about relationship. And because it's primal and the, the green man. I feel like it's romantic relationship. And I feel like you've got options. And you're manifesting your options. But see, and you know manifestation to do with sexual energy, right? But see here how her heart is open. Her heart is open. I was planning on using this for charms, not cards yeah what we have planned and what our higher self have planned are very different things yeah so there's pain around where the navel chakra and yeah I was noticing that this guy's belly's all bloated I know that's a shell normally but in this case it's a Okay, hearing voodoo doll. You're playing with voodoo. All right. Have fun with that, right? <laughs> oh dear. All right, well, we all have our own journey. I am judging, but we all have our own journey, so I shouldn't. All right. So, bees to me are about Christ consciousness. Um, also, some of the goddesses like Melissa. But the, the honeycomb is in that hexagonal shake, shape. Yeah, we've got to shake it off. Um, so, this is to do with... Um, You know, um, yeah, okay, they said ancestral karma with the hex, hexagon, the hex keys. Um, and maybe as you go through relationships, you're finding the right fit in different aspects of the relationship. If, you, um, if you're somebody that has been through uh, narcissistic abuse, you probably weren't allowed to know what you wanted you wanted what they wanted right to survive so especially if it was during childhood and it usually is because why would you have a narcissistic relationship as an adult if you had a healthy childhood um oh it's a lot of pain a lot of pressure um, I'm 
Okay, guys, if it doesn't back off, I'm going to stop the transmission. And I said, no, it's okay. All right. So. Do you feel like you can't breathe in a relationship? Or was there a relationship where you felt like you couldn't breathe? Did you feel like you weren't nourished? This represents a baby model. You weren't nourished. Was it explosive? Was it a car crash? Did you lack the nurture and care and parental support, family support? That is the building blocks, the foundations. Um... This kind of plum particular blue, this plumbago blue, reminds me of Ashtar. We're hearing resilience. We have to understand that we attract the partners we attract because we feel like we are missing something. They have something that we are missing within ourselves so something nothing's missing from us so it's, therefore it's in the shadow uh, I'm seeing the pine cone being inverted so maybe you feel like you're not psychic enough um, or not trusting your abilities So what can we do, Spirit? What can we do to um, Yeah, we, we attract partners that are going to trigger us so that we can heal if we're unhealed. So yeah, you can choose to be alone and heal on your own or you can choose to do it in society but understanding that uh, neither way is going to save you pain. you just got to go through it. But if you are in relationships, if people are triggering you, then you know now that that's what they're designed to do. Doesn't mean you put up with abuse, but also don't blame don't hate on them in the, in the energies. When you're finding yourself hating on them, acknowledge what you've been through and say that it's okay to feel the way you do, but you fully intend to heal from it, that you will are willing to see what you need to see to stop entering into these explosive relationships that that make you feel like you're being tortured and malnourished and your whole life's a car crash. <sighs> yes, um, Celestite's just so significant right, right now. Celestite. It's a crystallized one. Okay, so what can we do? What can we do, Spirit? So this charm's got a nice even pattern. Oh, it, it's actually, um, oh, I see. Okay, so it's reminding me of the pattern, the kind of nest that um, I think it's pufferfish create to attract a mate. Um, it's really quite beautiful. Look it up on YouTube. Um, and then you've got the, the hand, like the hand print, the, no, it's a bit, yeah, so it's about creativity, it's like creating your, your nest, creating your, how do I put that? So, 
it's not about creating a trap, a false identity of what you think you should look like based on wounding, based on societal expectations. It's about creating your life, the way you look, the way your house looks, all that to make you your, your inner child. Your inner child. Happy. Because when you're in alignment, when you've got things in a way that is authentically you, and that can morph and change as you figure out who you are, then you won't need to, <laughs> you won't need the fishing line. You won't need to dangle false hope in front of people and hurt them. Because you don't know who you are. Because, because you're so used to morphing to suit everybody else. The reason this is the fishing line is because my child came in today and said it was a fishing line. So. And I knew it was for a reading. Which brings me to a what? Again, okay. All right. So I was initially going for this other strawberry that another child brought to me this morning, and to me, it symbolizes. Oh, I can hardly breathe. Well, I honestly don't know which one I hope is untrue out of these two scenarios. Either someone's got the voodoo doll and are trying to torture me. Um, in which case, good luck and good luck with your karma. Because um, we're almost at the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I am stronger than that. And so my spirit team. Uh, or that's how you're feeling. That you can't breathe. <sighs> Energy work. If you're wearing your belt too tight or you're wearing some a girdle. I heard a girdle. Who says girdle these days? That's from a past life. Oh my god. Um, oh, Victorian era. Yeah, so maybe there's some past life stuff. Um, some things, they couldn't all come to fruition. You could only accomplish one thing. And you almost got there. Like this one didn't even fruit. This one kind of started and stopped. Actually, no, it didn't. Hang on. This one was almost ripe. I mean, you could eat it, but it's a little bit bitter, right? And this one. But you stopped. It ended too early. And I feel like it was... Um, oh, I just want to cry now. Oh. Okay, so this isn't for everybody. You need to... Um, always use your discernment. Just see what this kicks up for you. It won't be exactly the same as what it is for me. So, um, this is Rose, Rosemary Pin, which is for um, honouring veterans who have passed, passed, people who have died at war and served in war. Uh, getting, it's one of the world wars, but for me, it's also Victorian times. I don't know if one of the world wars was it. If you could be alive in the Victorian times and one of the world wars, I can't remember. And there's something locked here. See, there's a little lock. Hearing lock it, but it's not a lock it. And, um, so basically with the dagger, there was something deceitful happen and probably murder. 
So, again, really just saying, I'm doing a general reading for God knows how many people. So, don't just take on these stories for yourself. Actually, explore what they trigger for you. And if you feel like they don't, then don't. No worries. So, what was almost ripe was cut short. And there was a, another It is possible that you were a pregnant woman who was murdered while, while with child or that you were a child who was in the womb while the mother was murdered. And I'm not going to describe what I'm seeing right now. Um, that's... Um, and again if this sort of stuff resonates um, I'm not a psychologist I am not a trained professional of any kind I'm reading energies please 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 always seek help if you don't resonate with who you've been given medically keep trying I have a long-term psychologist, but it took me many, many tries to find her. The others, I even got gaslit by two of them, um, which are thankfully the minority. Um, so use your discernment, find who you resonate with and keep trying and, and believe that God's going to align you. We're in new energies now. Back then it was the old energies the end of the Piscean so something to do with could be to do with colonialism because we've got the queen on one side and indigenous on the other Um, this has Queen Elizabeth that has just passed. Okay. Again, how do we heal now that we're triggered? <laughs> Please, Spirit, how do we heal now that we're triggered? Who do we call on? Let's start with a... Okay. So I'm going to pull a card from here. And I will probably do another video with a journey. Because these cards are journeying cards. Okay, how do we heal from this trauma please spirit? How do we heal? Which which dragon can guide us? Which, which dragon or master can guide us? That one? Just, I just knew it because I was trying not to say master because I was going to draw from another deck which masters would help. But it's Merlin and I don't have Merlin in the other deck with the masters. All right. <coughs> oh, throat chakra. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right. Throat chakra color. All right, I will see you, if you feel drawn, in the next video where we will journey and there will probably be light language and we will initiate um, the healing together. But as I said, always 
seek medical advice. Always make sure that you're taking care of your mental health. Don't rely on me. I'm a friend. All the masters are your friend. They, they basically walk beside us, not even ahead of us. They basically walk beside us holding the lanterns and giving advice, but we're the ones who carve the path. And we're the only ones who can really, really know. And we, there's a lot of discernment being asked of us at the moment. And Merlin, for me, definitely represents discernment. Maybe one day I'll tell you that story. <laughs> Alright, I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>